Olá Brasil, sou o Google Gloss com mais uma missão maravilhosa. Olha só onde é que eu tô, gente. Paris, nevando, mais a neve. Mas apesar de estar tá um frio aqui, o que tá acontecendo é algo muito quente. Estou aqui para a Premier Mundial de 50 Tons de Liberdade, o último, será que é mesmo o último filme da franquia de 50 Tons de Cinza? A minha deusa interior está em chamas, apesar de Paris estar um gelo, e a gente vai falar agora com esse elenco maravilhoso, vamos descobrir se eles estão tão quentinhos quanto a minha deusa interior. Dá só uma olhada no nosso papo com o um elenco de 50 Tons de Liberdade. Você quer jogar? Sim, Jay! <laughs> I was like a little bit nervous. <laughs> so, last movie. How are you feeling? Sad? Uh, uh, a little bit sad. Um, freed. A little bit freed. <laughs> That's a good way of saying it. Yeah. Um, it is a bit of both, though. You know, it's kind of, in a way, it's kind of nice that we were even able to make a third one, you know, um, that there was demand to make one, that the fans cared enough to see more than just the first one. Uh, I think it's it's a good thing that we were able to complete the trilogy and, and uh, sort of give the fans what, what they want, I think. I told you. I'll pick you up a five. I might not be done by then. We we're gonna follow. Do you feel like the fans will be happy with how this is all coming to an end? Yeah, I think so, yeah. I mean, these movies are very much made for the fans and at the, the fans are at this sort of focal point of, of the, the creative process. It's like, let's please them because there's so many of them and they care so much about these books and these characters and these movies. Let's, let's give them what they want, I think, is a lot of the time, you know, is our sort of ethos. So. Um, You know, I think there's great stuff in there for them, and, and hopefully it's the finish that they are. Oh, I think they're they sort of want. Yeah, they're gonna know. love it. And there's that nice nostalgic bit at the end where they sort of we sort of play back to when Anna and Christian first met and everything. I think yeah, I think that will get people. Uh, so from uh, last movie, we got to know a little bit more from Christian. Yeah, what fans can expect for this movie? Regarding Christian, I think he, we just see the sort of best version of him by. By, by the end of the movie, certainly, you know, he sort of lives up to all the things that Anna wants him to be, you know, and uh, he's just a far more open, relatable person who's got to find a sense of humor somewhere along the way. Yeah, right. Yeah, which, which I was... I feel he's a little bit more relaxed. Yeah, this yeah, time. which he needed to be. I think he's a bit uptight in the first movie. Yeah. And uh, I prefer him much more in this movie. Um, he seems like someone I'd potentially go for a drink with when before I wouldn't have. You, know what I mean? <laughs> you wouldn't talk to him. No, anymore. he's not my kind. You know, I don't have any friends like him. So, yeah. Um, he's uh, he's just developed. I think he's grown up and he's That's what love yeah, does. That's what love does. That's what you're meant to get out of love. You're meant to get the best out of each other in every relationship. So And yeah. now you're singing too. I sing a wee bit. Yeah. I mean there's anything Christian Grey can't do. Um, sing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, sing but you're singing really well. <laughs> Do it does so? it? I haven't actually heard it myself. I saw I saw it in the movie, but I was sort of cringing. You, you cringing. I was cringing so much that that bit was coming up. I wasn't really listening properly, and it was over so fast. Um, and I haven't heard the recorded version of it. So, um, yeah, who knows what that is? It's really good. Is was, it okay? I was actually going to ask you if you're going to think about a singing career. Yeah, I'm not. No. no? no. There's not even a possibility? No. Because uh, you got to be on the Fifty Shades soundtrack. Yeah. Like, Again, I didn't really know that was happening until I got like. How, an how email. was it? How did you get it? Um, well, you see, they ended up just using the piece that we recorded when we did the film. So, because there was talk at one point of getting me to record that song, maybe I'm amazed, like properly in a studio with a band and everything. And then uh, I, I guess I didn't respond. Or I don't know. It just never. It just didn't happen. So I just didn't think it was going to be on there. And then I sort of got an email saying that I was on the soundtrack. So. I'm a bit confused about the whole thing, <laughs> and I'm a bit embarrassed to be on the soundtrack with like really credible artists. So 
So what do you think is going to be Christian Grey's legacy? God, I don't know. I just hope, like, I just hope that the films are loved by the fans, really, and that, 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 that we, you know, did our job. Oh, you, you did. Know, I mean, you know what I mean, that, that, that we, you know, because I know how much these fans mean to people. and um, So you just hope that you've sort of left behind something that, that you know, a, a large percentage of the fans like, and I think, I think we have. When are you coming to Brazil? Um, whenever you invite me. When's your birthday? My birthday is in November. Okay, I'll be there for your birthday. Oh my God. If you fly me out, I'll come for your birthday. I'll fly you and your whole family. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Okay. Okay. No, I'd, I'd die to come to Brazil. I just literally haven't had an opportunity. And I was going to, years ago, I was going to do this photo shoot in Brazil and then they moved it to Buenos Aires. So, um, and then I wanted to go there for a holiday after Argentina. I just didn't have the time. So I'd love to get out there. I'd oh, love, love to go to Brazil. We're waiting for you. You're going to love it. It seems you're pregnant, Mrs. Gray.